Some you know, some you don't. Let's take a look at 15 of the worst serial killers ever. I'll tell you about them, but can you tell me their nicknames? Randy Kraft committed the rape, torture, and murder of a minimum of 16 young men between 1972 and 1983. Kraft is also believed to have committed the rape and murder of up to 51 other young men and boys. While searching his apartment, investigators discovered a coded list with 61 entries containing cryptic references to his victims. He was convicted in May 1989 and is currently on death row at San Quentin State Prison in Marin County, California. Do you remember Kraft's nickname? Was he known as the Scorecard Killer, the Pajama Killer, or the Radiator? He was known as the Scorecard Killer. Lonnie Franklin was alleged to have murdered several women in South Central Los Angeles and then he disappeared for 13 years, which earned him his nickname. He started killing again and the police were able to track him down using DNA technology that didn't exist when his spree began many years earlier. In 2016, he was found guilty of 10 murders and was suspected in at least 20 more. Do you remember his nickname? Was he the end-all killer, BTK, or the Grim Sleeper? He was the Grim Sleeper. Using a 44 caliber Bulldog revolver, David Berkowitz killed six people and wounded seven others in the summer of 1976. Terrorizing the people of New York City, Berkowitz sent a series of taunting letters to the police and the press, promising further shootings. He was captured in August 1977 and confessed to everything. He was sentenced to 25 years to life in prison for each murder. Remember what people called Berkowitz? Was he the New York killer, the Night Stalker, or the Son of Sam? He was known as the Son of Sam. Gary Ridgway was arrested in 2001 for killing four people, although he confessed to murdering at least 70 women in Washington State throughout the 1980s and the 1990s. He avoided the death penalty by providing detailed confessions and leading police to the dumping sites of his victims. He was convicted of 49 murders and sentenced to life without parole. Do you remember Ridgway's nickname? Was he Zodiac, the Green River Killer, or the I-5 Killer? He is known as the Green River Killer. Edmund Kemper killed his grandparents when he was 15 years old and later in life killed and dismembered six female hitchhikers in the Santa Cruz, California area. He then murdered his mother and one of her friends before turning himself in. In November 1973, he was convicted on eight counts and asked to be executed but instead he received life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. 
He currently resides at the California Medical Facility in Vacaville, California. Do you remember what Kemper was known as? Was he the co-ed killer, the mother killer, or the body man? Kemper is known as the co-ed killer. Ricardo Levia Richard Munoz Ramirez was an American killer and self-proclaimed Satan worshiper who terrorized Los Angeles between 1984 and 1985. Ramirez broke into the homes of his victims, then he would rape and shoot or stab them. His victims ranged from a nine-year-old girl to elderly widows. Upon his capture in 1985, Ramirez was sentenced to death and remained on California's death row for 23 years until he died of cancer in June of 2013. Do you remember his nickname? Was he the Lady Killer, the Nightman, or the Night Stalker? Ramirez was the Night Stalker. Amazingly creepy grandfather Andre Chikatilo was a Russian who committed the sexual assault, murder, mutilation, and cannibalization of at least 52 women and children between 1978 and 1990. He confessed to a total of 56 slayings and was tried for 53 of them in April 1992. He was convicted and sentenced to death for 52 of the murders in October 1992 and was executed by a firing squad in February 1994. Do you remember Chikatilo's nickname? Was he the child eater, the butcher of Lenin, or the Butcher of Rostov. Chikatilo is known as the Butcher of Rostov. In 1972, Arthur Shawcross sexually assaulted and killed a 10-year-old boy in Watertown, New York. He then assaulted and killed an 8-year-old girl for which he was captured and served 14 years in prison. He was released in 1988 and went on to murder 12 prostitutes. He confessed to all 12 and was sentenced to 250 years in prison where he died in 2008. The picture to the right is Shawcross with his daughter and granddaughter at Sullivan Correctional Facility. Do you remember Shawcross's nickname? the Take a Break Killer, the Genesee River Killer, or the River Man. He was known as the Genesee River Killer. Tommy Lynn Sells claimed to have taken the lives of at least 70 people between 1985 and 1999, including the stabbing of a 13-year-old girl 16 times. Authorities believe he committed a total of 22 murders. He was eventually captured after stabbing a 10-year-old girl in her bed. The girl survived and was able to provide the police with a detailed description of cells. He was executed by lethal injection in Texas on April 3, 2014. Do you remember his nickname? Was he the on the road killer, the teen killer, or the coast to coast killer? Sells was known as the coast to coast killer. John Wayne Gacy was an American serial killer and pederast who raped, 
tortured and murdered at least 33 young men and boys and, in 26 cases, hid the bodies in the crawl space under his Chicago home. Gacy was sentenced to death on March 13, 1980. At that point, his conviction for 33 murders was the most homicides by one individual in U.S. history. He was executed by lethal injection at Stateville Correctional Center in Illinois on May 10, 1994. Do you remember Gacy's nickname? Was he the killer clown, the crawl space killer, or the construction killer? He was the killer clown. In 1969, the five foot four inch, 130 pound Donald Henry Gaskins began torturing, mutilating, raping, and killing hitchhikers he picked up in the U.S. South. Although he claimed to have murdered upwards of 110 people, he was convicted of eight and sentenced to death, which was later commuted to life. In May 1976, the jury only took 47 minutes to find Gaskins guilty. After incarceration, he killed a fellow inmate. He was executed in the electric chair in September 1991 for that murder. Do you remember Gaskin's nickname? Was he the baby killer, the tiny man, or the meanest man in America? He was known as the meanest man in America. Canadian-American Keith Hunter Jesperson murdered at least eight women in the United States during the early 1990s. Upset that he was not getting any media attention, Jesperson drew a picture on a bathroom wall hundreds of miles from the scene of his first crime, providing proof. When that did not get a response, he began writing letters to the media and authorities taking credit for the strangulations. He claims to have killed as many as 185. Jesperson is currently serving a sentence of life without parole at the Oregon State Penitentiary. Do you remember Jesperson's nickname? Was he the torture man, the happy face killer, or the North American killer? He was known as the Happy Face Killer. Trusted British physician Dr. Harold Frederick Shipman, who was well respected in his community, was proven to have been responsible for up to 250 murders. Shipman had purposefully injected fatal doses of the drug diamorphine into a large number of his patients. He then forged their wills naming himself as beneficiary. He was sentenced to 15 consecutive life sentences, but he hanged himself in January 2004 in his cell at Wakefield Prison on the eve of his 58th birthday. Do you remember what he was called? Dr. Death, Dr. Grimm, or Dr. Demon? He was known as Dr. Death. In order to surround himself with young boys, Javid Iqbal opened video arcades, schools, aquariums, and gyms in his native Punjab, Pakistan. Arrested a number of times on charges of sodomy, his father's money always got him out of trouble. He eventually confessed to killing 100 boys in just five months by drugging, violating, strangling, and then chopping them into pieces. He was sentenced to death in 2000 but was murdered or killed himself in jail. His family refused to collect his remains. 
Do you know what his nickname was? Was he Kukri, Katala, or the Killer of Boys? He was known as Kukri. And perhaps the most prolific serial killer in history, Pedro Lopez was responsible for raping and slaying hundreds of women in Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru. While captured in 1980, he only served 14 years in an Ecuadorian prison. He then spent three years in a mental hospital in Colombia where he was somehow declared sane, so was released in 1998 on $50 bail. He is suspected of further murders in Colombia, although his whereabouts are unknown. Do you have any idea what his nickname was? El Diablo, the Monster of Mexico, or the Monster of the Andes? He was known as the Monster of the Andes. I hope you enjoyed that one. Check back with me soon. I'm going to have many more coming up for you. Please make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and give me a thumbs up. Talk to you soon.